The state's busiest court system gets ready for what continues to be problematic for Wake County. After a months long delay, Charlotte is now preparing for issues that we have experienced right here in Central North Carolina. And it's all of the price tag of at least $100 million. <laughs> CBS 17's Russ Bowen joins us. And Russ, you spoke to the Mecklenburg County District Attorney about this. Yeah, eCourt's pilot launched in Wake, Johnson, Lee, and Harnett Counties back in February. Since then, as you know, we've reported on problems with that software. Well, just yesterday, the state DMV commissioner told us the Mecklenburg launch should be delayed because of safety concerns. The DA of that county is fully aware of those problems. I do believe there still will, will be issues. There will be problems. Um, and that's based on the experience that I know that they've had in the pilot counties. Mecklenburg County District Attorney Spencer Merriweather has paid close attention to court delays, claims of wrongful arrests, wrong information attached to driving records, incorrect notification of court dates, difficulty accessing clients' case files, and more that CBS 17 has brought to light since the pilot launch of eCourts. We can plan for the things that we kind of know that go on and that have gone on in the other counties. It's those things that we don't know about uh, that even seven months into this system that we are still learning uh, that gives me the, the most concern. Concern after problems with the software already delayed Mecklenburg's implementation from May to October 9th. It's been said that when other districts catch a cold, uh, Mecklenburg County catch pneumonia. Uh, and so I've got to make sure that we're prepared for the worst. Um, and yet we are preparing as if the best is something that is attainable. We'll continue to do that. Merriweather recognizes that there have been improvements, but worries the software developed by Tyler Technologies and bought by North Carolina for $100 million will come with a different set of challenges. One of the biggest concerns or complaints really since the launch to me has been it's an off-the-shelf product that is supposed to be a one-size-fits-all 100 counties or districts when every county is different in some fashion or form. We may be a unified court system, but all operate in different aspects and ways and have best practices that are different than the county next door. Um, it's like uh, an off-the-rack suit may fit you, but it sure isn't going to fit me. Well, Mr. Bowen, for all those times that those fine folks in Raleigh have talked about the great state of Mecklenburg, I am happy to have uh, other people a part of this conversation to realize that we are all different um, and we do have different needs and different concerns. Um, it is no less true as we embark upon the greatest expansion of technology in our core system in uh, a couple of generations. Um, and it is true that uh, as you go from district to district, we will all have different needs. The administrative office of the courts will have people on the ground to help with the launch. But there's another concern. Three years ago, when Tyler first uh, engaged with uh, the state of North Carolina, we were promised that all the way along the way, they would learn a lot about what were the specific needs of our jurisdiction and even the specific needs of my office. Um, I have yet to see that sort of presence in my office or in my courthouse uh, to learn about the specific needs of my jurisdiction. So it should be no surprise to me or anybody else um, that now we still have open questions and we still anticipate some significant issues come October 9th. While Wake County is the most populated in the state, Mecklenburg's courts are the busiest. It's about uh, making sure that people are served without favor, denial, or delay. Um, despite a product that certainly has some challenges, we're going to do everything we can to make that work. And just about an hour ago, I got a new update or a new response after my request for one from AOC. They said, in part, the transition to the new technology will unify court systems across the state and the scope of the project makes it unique and transformational. You can read that full statement, of course, at CBS17.com. Guys. All right. Russ, thanks. We appreciate it. I mean, you expect kinks, but not to this level, right? Like we yeah. know implementing something new, you can't expect to have hiccups along the way, Russ, but this just seems like major issues that they're well, having. Well, and, and look, we still don't have a date yet for the rest of the state. Yeah. yeah, got yeah, yeah 95 right. more counties These are just, these are just the tests. Yeah, wow. exactly. All right, Russ. Thank you.